the beach with thousands of young people sounds pretty awesome, right? Well, Scott Evans takes us to one of summer's hottest music festivals for young people. But this one has a unique spin and gives concert goers a chance to give back in a big way. A chance to make an impact. This is Beach Glow, a day-long electronic dance music festival in Wildwood, New Jersey. With the purpose of connecting young people and dance beats to... This is the guy responsible for the idea, 19-year-old Dane Kunkel, a.k.a. DJ Get Kunked. He spent the first half of his summer finishing up all the plans to make an event like this work. But a few years ago, as a freshman, he would have never dreamed this could be his life. Back then, everything I had was soccer. Um, and I was injured. I, I took out the soccer field like very nine months. That injury ended his chances of playing competitive soccer. But while recovering, he discovered a new hobby, DJing. I started DJing in my room when I was injured, and I was like in bed, I was like trying to DJ with one hand. Dane says he knew he was onto something, but had to convince his parents. My, I told my mom, Mom, I'm going to DJ. And she was like, no way, you're not going to do that. But he kept at it. Well, I was 14 at the time, started DJing. All my friends laughed at me like, oh, you're a DJ? That's so, that's so dumb. And nowadays, everyone wants to be a DJ. But one doesn't easily take a recovery bed hobby to a main stage act. He started with smaller events and eventually was asked by a teacher to DJ a holiday party at school. And now Dane uses his newfound passion to throw events like Beach Glow as a way to encourage young people to give back. This year, Beach Glow is uh, raising funds for the American Red Cross. Like standing here, it's really devastating. I mean, nobody went to the shore the next year. But this summer, people came out in the thousands, and Beach Glow was able to raise $40,000 for the American Red Cross this year. I just can't even imagine, like, we're here now. I mean, two years ago, we were in high school gym. Now we're on the beaches of Wild with a 7,000 person sold out show. And it's amazing. He also knows about EDM's reputation for drugs and partying, but says he wants his event to be something different. He tells me you have an EDM event, and they go, oh my gosh, an EDM event, that's got it. Drugs has got it. Crazy people, they got young adults going crazy on. And what we're trying to do is show them that it's not that, and that it's good people trying to get back, having a great time. Dane and his small army of volunteers have also put on events to benefit Harmony Ministries in Haiti and the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Even this event's headlining act, Dubs, seemed excited to be a part of an event donating to ongoing disaster relief. We're a bunch of amazing kids, man. You know, to be able to share your music and, you know, just like, make music and be able to help people, you know, for a better life. It's like, it's, it's one of the biggest honors that we could ever have. So what's next? Right now, I'm just happy making other people enjoy themselves and get back. Scott Evans, Channel 1 News.